In this video, we're going to talk about how to adjust the Hunter Pro adjustable nozzle family. This is a family of adjustable nozzles ranging from four foot in radius to 17 feet. We're looking at the 17 foot nozzle here. Now we're going to talk about two different factors of adjustment. The first being the arc. The right limit is set on this nozzle family. So to adjust the right side of our arc or our pattern, we're going to have to use the ratchet action of our spray body here. And we'll imagine that this is buried at ground level as normal. So we would want to reach in here and grab the shaft and make our fine tune adjustments on the right limit. And to adjust the left limit, it's the actual top ring of the nozzle here. And we can go from zero all the way open to 360 degrees. And now the second factor of adjustment is the radius or how far it's throwing water, 17 feet in this case. So we have a nozzle here that we can, let me grab a hold of the top, and we can take this all the way down to zero. Let's take it back to 100% here. And I wouldn't recommend that you reduce the radius on these any more than about 20 or 25 percent just to get consistent performance. It's always best not to try to reduce it down too far with the nozzle. Instead, go and get a different nozzle like the 15 foot or a 12 or a 10 foot or whatever you need there. So let's go ahead and replace this nozzle as if it were clogged up and we needed to replace it with a fresh nozzle. What I would suggest you use is the Rainbird spray head tool. It's a clamp that's fitted just for the spray body shaft here. So you put that on there. We'll go back to the timer or use your app or whatever you've got to shut the zone off. Come out. I like to do several of these at once if we're doing a tune up or an adjustment on a zone. If there's more than one nozzle to replace and flush out at one time. I keep several of these on the truck so that we can do them all at once. Okay, so we go back to the zone or we go back to the timer or our app, turn the zone back on for a second, maybe about 10 or 15 seconds, let it flush out any debris or anything that might be down in there. Sometimes you see chunks of PVC or dried up glue and stuff that makes it all the way down. So we grab us a fresh filter, never neglect using the filter, put us a fresh nozzle on here. Be careful not to cross thread these little threads on there. They're thin and kind of, I wouldn't say fragile, but just watch what you're doing. And so if we want to rough adjust this, once we get it on here, there's, you can see the little notch that's on the nozzle here representing the right limit. So when we see that, what we're gonna do is just go ahead and do us a rough adjustment on that. And on the top of the nozzle, there is a little arrow that shows you what the left limit is. So I rough, just, rough adjusted the right side, and now I'm going to rough adjust the left side. Go ahead and drop it. We're going to go back, turn our zone on, and then do our fine-tune adjustment on our right limit first because that's the set one. And then we come back and grab a hold of the top and do the fine-tune adjustment on our left limit. And then if we need to do any adjusting on our radius, then we'll go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we're done.